Morning run completed, we just still fasted. Morning run, first thing in the morning. Straight out of bed, got a little bit of water in my system, a little bit of electrolytes, and then headed out the door. So we got 2.01 miles. Uh, time was 17.45, pace of 8.51. I'm not gonna lie, the uh, com coming back up this hill here was insane. Fasted morning cardio complete. So we're back down at the Ohio State apartment for like the last time. This is basically like the final move out. We're going to the gym right now, but basically just have to get the rest of our stuff moved out. This place is looking super empty right now. Um, so I basically have to get my bed frame out, my mattress out, my desk, um, a couple other things to clean up and drop off the keys. And that'll be it for this apartment, which is crazy. We've been living here for like literally two years at Ohio State and I'm gonna miss it, man. It's two years out of my college experience was like living in this place. So uh, it's really crazy that I'm like actually leaving for the last time. So we're gonna hit a workout right now. Pack up, get out of here, throw everything in the truck, and then uh, and then that'll be it for Ohio State. Crazy, it's all coming to a close like that. That was the last straw right there. All right, so I think we're gonna go up to Grandview Pro today. I was just talking to, to Jacob. Today's supposed to be an SBD day for me, so my second powerlifting day of the week, but I think it might be like a good day to do an outdoor squat. They have like squat racks and stuff outside of Grandview. We've never used them before because we were here during the school year and it was kind of cold and stuff like that. Might be the last leg workout, last squat workout, last workout down here at Ohio State ever. So we have, I believe it's a single RP7 today, technically on the program for me. You're not following the same program. What, no. are, you, what are you following by? I wrote myself my own program. Okay, okay. For yeah. like, for prep now? Still an eight day training Because Jacob's also prepping now too. You're how many weeks out? Like 10 exactly weeks out? 10. Exactly 10 weeks out. I'm just under nine weeks out. So I'm gonna see if we get Jacob out to my show. Yeah, we need we need Jacob back there giving me Reese's and Rice Krispies again, right before I hop on stage. We, we need Coach Shaw back there. So we got squats going on outside right now. Beautiful day. And uh, we're gonna try and work up to a heavy single, probably single at RP7. We'll see. We got three plates on the bar right now. We're gonna hit this and uh, need to fix that one over there. There's only two plates. We gotta add one more, but we're gonna see how things are feeling. I feel good mentally, but physically a little beat up. So we're gonna see what we get hit. And uh, you know, like I said, it's all mental. You gotta forget about the physical. Use your mind just to put, push past all the little pains and, and creakiness and stuff like that. My back's a little creaky. Oh, everything's a little sore. We're gonna get past it. We'll be all right. So let's warm up here. Get ourselves ready, hit some big weight. In. I think it got tighter, better breath, better uh, form on that one. For sure. It's a good rep. We'll take that. <laughs> Back down, still feeling pretty strong. This is the last training day of the week. We're trying to finish strong. We're just turning this into a squat and leg day. So right now we're doing heavy leg extensions. Gonna see how many reps we can get here. Nice and slow on the eccentric is like a huge key on this one. Good squeeze, but then slow it down and really tear up that, uh, that quad a little bit. So we're gonna hit these, hit some hamstring and curls, calf raises, and then we gotta pack up, man. This is what I came down here to do is to pack up. I haven't packed anything yet. Uh, so we gotta get that done. Let's get this workout done get a meal and then focus on getting ourselves ready to uh, to get out of this apartment here. Man. I gotta drop the keys off tomorrow. So I need Jacob to help me load the truck here. <laughs> That's why I got Jacob here, man. So. All right, so the truck is all loaded up. We somehow fit everything underneath the cover in the bed of the truck too. So that was kind of efficient, not gonna lie. We fit basically bed frame, mattress, like my drawer unit, like everything. 
that we needed underneath there. Uh, the rest of the stuff, like all the delicate stuff I put in like the back seat uh, so it won't roll around or anything. We're just gonna like, take a little walk through campus and just, just do a little recap of the past four years uh, here at Ohio State, but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. For, you know, Ohio State, for college, everything, crazy, graduated and, uh, you know, Waited till the very last day to actually move out. It's July 31st, which is like the very, very end of our lease. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna walk through campus, do a little uh, do a little victory lap here. If you're talking like normal, even moving for the dorms, like you don't move in until like a like a couple of days before classes. You literally start. get in and classes start. Yeah, literally yeah. like freshman year, you get in on like a Saturday is like moving day. Classes start up. And then classes start like Monday or Tuesday. It's crazy. Like the amount of like, the little amount of time you have to like acclimate to everything before like classes just like boom. So. It was so like overwhelming. Literally, now we walk yeah. around here like I don't, no one like gives a crap anymore. It's like. Back in the day, this is my, this is my go-to gym. Jesse Owens North, Joe North Rec Center, that's what they call it, John. And uh, this place was just a COVID testing center the past like two years. So unfortunate. This is like the best gym on campus in my opinion. If you guys remember from sophomore year, I lived right in this dorm right here. Freshman year, I lived in that dorm right there. So it was like a 30 second walk over to here. John will be closed from May 8th to August 20th. So August it's 20th. Back up. It's opening back up. August 20th, bro. It's opening back up for testing on August 20th, maybe? Yeah, I, don't I can't know. wait to go get COVID tested every week like I'm supposed to. Like I wonder if we can get in here. This is a uh, sophomore year dorm. Oh. So have a video there. This part's open. You can't get in here though, I bet. Look at this. This one I like post show rebounded. My face is all chunky and stuff. <laughs> It said green and then red. It's like it sets off an alarm. Like, well, all right, we're not getting in here, guys. Yeah. I don't think. Does that look like it? This was like we'd walk out here, North Rex right there with the basketball courts, uh, Jo North Rec Center right there, like literally 10 second walk across the street, and then you know classes and everything was within like a five minute radius. So it was super super nice. That was when I lived with Kyle. Sophomore year is when I had like a lot of people getting really into like the powerlifting thing and stuff like that, and we were prepping for Penn State Collegiate Nationals, which didn't happen because of COVID, but. Hey, what are the odds you meet the nation's number one collegiate deadlifter right across the hall from you in a freaking Ohio oh, Kyle. State dorm room? <laughs> yeah, if you guys remember Kyle, like literally he ended up just, he, well yeah, he like, he never really like worked out or anything. He just lived across the hall from me freshman year and uh, I got him into lifting and everything. He just happens to be like the greatest deadlifter <laughs> at his weight class in the entire country. Put a bar in his hands, <laughs> it just turned insane. Literally. So now we're walking right past the basketball courts, which is uh, the North Rec Center. So this is more like a commercial gym feel, to be honest. It was much more commercial gym. You could play some outdoor basketball there and stuff like that. It, it is, it is kind of like modern looking and everything like. Go in there. Now, Jacob didn't ever live in the dorms. You never lived in the dorms. Nah, dude, I was a big body when I turned 18. I moved out, <laughs> I just got my own place. He missed out, man. The dorms was so much fun. He moved into freshman year. Everyone's in the same situation. Everyone's just trying to make friends and just like have a good time. And uh, obviously you're there for school too and stuff like that, but the experience of just like living in the dorms, like getting to know everybody, like going out a little bit for the first couple times. And uh, Dracula Tower, freshman year dorm right here. Everything's so close by here. Did you get your little like Alphaly packages right there and stuff? Yeah, I, I remember like having some big, big Alphaly packages sitting on the desk right there. And you'd go up and it was so easy. You just go up and give them your, your buck ID and they just bring your package out for you. Um, and there's just like no worries or anything. You know, like at, at our new place, it was just like, you had to be out there and get your package because those things would get stolen out there. <laughs> 12th floor, 12th floor jacket. I think it was like 1265, I think was my room. But Drew good, and all those guys. Good times, man. Yeah, those are all the original roommates. Yeah, basically walk out here, boom, wide open. You go down this way, Scott Dining Hall, Curl Dining Hall, all that stuff. And, uh, you know, you got the gym right here in case you need it. Like, literally, if I need to go do cardio, hit a quick workout, like, gym is literally 10 seconds away. This is, everything was so efficient, like, especially freshman, sophomore year. Um, we had a good location my last two years here, too, but, like, in the dorms, everything's so streamlined. Like you come in, you have a place to live, uh, people to you know be around at all times. Like your food is just like dining halls all over the place, gyms all over the place. My classes, like the farthest I had to walk was like you know five six minutes or whatever. Everything's like very close by. If you want to go to a football game, stadiums like a five ten minute walk. I always lived in North Campus. The 
this is turning into like a full Ohio State tour. We're coming up on the uh, the Scott Dining Hall right here. So traditions of Scott. This is like the the North Campus one. They have another like South Campus like big dining hall. Uh, but this is like the buffet one. You go and eat as much as you want for like one swipe. Freshman year post show, I would come in here, and uh, I was like one month after I had my show, and I was just eating everything in sight. Like come in here, have like three full plates, and then I have like some ice cream after, whole, all the desserts and everything. And it was just like, it was like I was on a cruise ship with like an all you can eat buffet. It was nice to be on meal plan, man. I honestly love that. No, I was um, just cooking up in like my apartment, like how we do now. Yeah, I don't mind cooking at all, but like it was so fun and so easy. Just like having a meal plan, just walking around like right after class, come over here, like get a huge meal, whatever. We are over here at Curl Market. You guys have seen this countless times, sophomore year, freshman year. This is like the place to go to for, you guys seen like the rice bowls. I used to have one of those every single day. We do the rice bowl, the rice crispy, and uh, a core power. I'll get that from here. I used to come here more than the buffet. Just because like, you could either get the rice bowl, you get a pasta bowl, uh, you get burritos here. There were so many different things you could get. It was so quick and easy. Sometimes I didn't want to sit down and eat. I'd just come in, get a big bowl, and then head back to the dorm and eat at the dorm. So freshman year we had like, we were getting pizzas over here and stuff. It's like the curl patio. They would be cooking up pizzas and stuff. That was like from the day in the life video actually. We were all chilling over there, having some uh, some fresh pizzas and stuff. But this was like the typical walk back from class and stuff. Or you know, if you'd go down south, go to like some bars or whatever, you'd walk back all the way back this way. That's before they had like the lift deal going on. And it was just like, you have a nice 15 minute walk back and uh, you know, right through campus, right through all the dorms and everything. This is all just North Campus, but we're pretty much gonna wrap up the tour there. And, and head out here, say goodbye to, to Jacob. He's staying here for another year. So, in the same exact place. So, he's, he's all set up and good to go, but. Gotta hold down the ship. Yeah, no, th this, was, this was so much fun while I was here. Great experience. Um, but I was just thinking about, I'm like, I'm not really gonna miss all the homework and the classes and stuff like that. Like, I'm ready, I'm ready for, for what's next, you know what I mean? I'm ready to uh, keep pushing myself in other directions though. And this was a lot of fun while I was here. Unfortunately, Ohio State had like, you know, wasn't the most cordial with me when it came to a lot of things with filming and, and creating YouTube videos and stuff like that. You know, the experience of being here was, was great. Met a lot of really good people and we're ready to take things to the next level now and put all of our focus into fitness, into, you know, whatever business ventures I, I, you know, take from here, but pushing ourselves towards that pro card right now, it's the main goal. And, uh, yeah, man, we'll be back. We'll be back next year. We'll come visit a few times, maybe get some workouts and stuff. So I'm excited for that. But we'll cap it off there. Everything's packed up. Head out. We'll say peace out to Ohio State after four years, man. So crazy.